Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a payment solution that can be provided to allow clients to make payments to you online through your website by credit card. It's the solution that we actually have in place on our own website at seethroughweb.com, and so I will demonstrate it here. On our site we have a section called Client Services, and there is a Make a Payment page. Now this is a fairly simple and straightforward solution that takes advantage of what's called hosted payment pages. Many of the credit card processing companies like TD First Step Bank or Moneris or Internet Secure who we use or even PayPal offer hosted payment pages meaning the payment tra transaction actually takes place on their website. So on our website where we still are a client would come to this page and they can enter their invoice number, one, two, three, four, five, and their amount. And we could add a field for their name or company name if we wanted to. And then they click Submit. When we click Submit, what's going to happen is we will be transferred over to the secure website of the payment processor. So I'm going to click Submit. And oh, I have to confirm my information, proceed with payment. And you'll see that we're transferred now to HTTPS so it's an SSL encrypted site, secure.internetsecure.com. The advantage to doing it this way is we don't need to add any extra SSL security to our website and we don't have to pass through any security audits or anything like that. So there's basically a cost savings and a hassle savings. Once the client gets to this page, they would enter their information. Now these pages can be customized. This is Internet Secure and we have an opportunity to add our logo and also to change the color scheme. Some of the sites actually give you quite a bit of freedom in, in what you can do to make this represent more your branding in your own website. Um, and it depends. Uh, we recently worked with Desjardins and this page is almost completely configurable. If you're using PayPal, you basically just get a logo in the top and the rest is kind of the stock PayPal stuff. PayPal is actually a nice option because it uh, allows a client to pay by their credit card or if they have a PayPal account, they can use that too. Another nice thing about PayPal is they don't have any uh, monthly fees either. So we're on Internet Secure now. I'm going to enter my name because I am, in this case, a client. And I've made a purchase from Seethrough Web. Perhaps I've got my invoice in the mail and I want to go and make a payment to that. So I'm going to enter my address information. And I'll even put my email address in here. And so notice we're offering Visa, MasterCard, Amex, and Discover. Uh, depending on who you're using for a processor, those credit card options might change. I don't think I've ever taken a Discover card, but I have it as an option. Uh, so I've entered this information and I'm going to click continue. Oh, I blew my address. And of course it knows that the address was wrong. And I click continue. And then we're taken to a page with the actual financial details. So the website transferred over the invoice number and the amount and the rest of it is the actual credit card information. So it's got my name from the previous screen. I would put my credit card information in and my whatever and I would click submit. When I click submit this is going and it's checking live. It's going and checking my visa to see if the funds are available and if, it, if the funds are available it's going to charge my visa with the 50 bucks. Um, if the funds are not available, it's it's not going to charge it. And following this, there's actually a processing screen, and then a page comes up that says, your transaction went through successfully, or there was a problem with your transaction, click the button, and you're then returned to, back to see through web. And when you return to see through web, which is my website, um, you either come to a, a thank you for your payment page, or you come to a page that says, oops, there was some problem, please try again or contact us. Then what happens is, Emails get sent out. So the person making the purchase gets an email that says it's a receipt, basically, for the purchase. And us as the administrators get an email that says you have received a payment for $50 or whatever. And that's it. We have the money then. And we carry on, carry on as we need to. It's, it's a, like I was saying, it's a fairly inexpensive solution. It's hassle-free. We have to do very little to your own website other than add a page on here and then configure the payment gateway itself. So thank you very much. If you have any questions or you'd like to do something like this, please feel free to contact us or give me a call or send me an email. You saw my email address. Thank you. Bye-bye.